November 1997. A pretty 14-year-old girl in a blue dress enjoying a cousin's wedding. Little more than a year later, Tulai Goran was dead. Killed by a fellow guest at this celebration, Mehmet Goran, her own father. The following summer, Tulai was to begin a relationship with a man twice her age from a different branch of the Muslim religion. A relationship her father believed brought shame and dishonor on her family. But she wasn't prepared to give up the boyfriend who brought her happiness. She goes, oh, I just saw him and she's all like giggling and laughing and she didn't say too much. But there was just the sparkle in her eye, like, oh yeah, I went to see him, you know, like all excited and stuff. You can tell she was happy. Other times she was just miserable. One day she just came in late um, and she said, she said, I'm pregnant and I'm going to run away. But I didn't know if she was serious or not. If it was just one of those things you say. It was while on work experience at a factory in Hackney that Tulai first met Halil Yunal, the man who was to become her boyfriend during the summer of 1998. On December the 14th that year, she ran away from home to live with him in his flat near the factory. On January the 6th the following year, her father brought her home and kept her captive. The next day, Tulai Goran was murdered. Two weeks later, her father attacked her boyfriend Halil with an axe outside a pub. The old Bailey was told the day before her death, Tulai was tied up to prevent her running away again. That night, sleeping tablets were crushed up and put into her coffee to sedate her. In the morning, Mehmet sent the rest of the family away. They never saw Tulai again. The police believe after killing her, her father buried her in the garden, only to dig her body up a few days later to move it. The property where the Goran family used to live is a fairly typical-looking English suburban house. But the court was told the values they lived by here were values they'd brought with them from their hometown in southern Turkey. According to the prosecution, that meant behaviour which brought shame or dishonour on the family was considered a stain which had to be cleansed at any cost, if necessary, by murder. Tulai's family never reported her missing. Her father's attitude aroused suspicion. He always looked stressed, he always looked miserable. Um, and also the fact that Mehmet didn't do nothing about searching for Tulai. He just kept quiet. It was Tulai's mother, Hanim, who was the main prosecution witness. In a dramatic moment in court, she screamed at her husband, Look at my face. What did you do to Tulai? But ten years earlier, she'd lied to the police about her daughter's disappearance. In the culture that she comes from, she would be expected to do what the, the men of the family wanted her to do. She would, uh, it would be regarded as a shame on them if she spoke to the police. And she would be in fear that because she had transgressed in speaking to the police, that the same could happen to her. But in the end, Hanim's desire to see justice for Tulai was stronger even than the family code of honour. A code which led a father to kill his own daughter.